Okay, good morning folks. It is Wednesday morning. We are in here getting all prepped and ready to go for today's International Transport Manager Refresher Training. Uh, we combine that with our OLAT training, which is Operator License Awareness, and that's for anybody in the transport sector, especially in compliance, maintenance, transport management. So there's a full day of transport professionals. We have guys from down around Waterford in Ireland, Cork, Kilkenny, Limerick, Dublin, um, the north of Ireland, uh, throughout the north of Ireland. And I think we have two guys coming in from GB as well. I said on the Wednesday one or the Thursday one. So anyway guys, um, for anybody who doesn't know what an OLAT is, OLAT is Operator License Awareness Training. And the traffic commissioners will do, sorry, demand um, that you continue with CPD, continuous professional development, and that you must upskill yourself um, on a cycle of three to five years, depending on what trouble you're in. Now, we have a lot of guys who maybe were transport managers are going back in to transport management, and they have to undertake one of these training courses. Now, we have a one day one, a two day, and a three day one. Now, the one day is very, very heavy. Even the two day is very heavy. It's all condensed and binding into people. And we have a lot of guys that leave and realize that they have no compliance in place whatsoever. And that's not, a, that's not a bad thing for them. It's actually a good thing because the professional competence has highlighted that they need assistance and support going forward. And again, at the group, that's what we're all about. So as we know guys, the GoPro isn't very good at, uh, at night. Good morning. Morning Adam. We have Adam in here at um, half five, is it six o'clock now? So we're all packed up, ready to go, hit cold rain. Um, we have, I think we need bigger vans sometimes. But anyway guys, yes. Anyway, for anybody that's there, um, and follow us on social media, which seems to be a hell of a lot of people. Uh, we will see you there shortly. Not sure if you can see us in the daylight. Today, Adam's going to take over the social media, take over the record of everything. So if it comes out well, that'll be good. And if it doesn't, he will probably be um, punished. Okay, folks, we're up here now in Cool Rain to complete the Operator License Awareness Training and Transport Manager Refresher Training. Up here in our training facility in Cool Rain. Maybe even Adam here. So yes guys, uh, full room today again um, of professionals, transport professionals who want to cover what we need to know for compliance, um, operator's license, tire graph analysis, investigations, vehicle roadworthiness, etc, etc. So Adam's going to take over the social media today, so you can get a bit of footage for our vlog going forward and that is all. <laughs> Okay folks, so it is 5.30 in the morning and uh, we were just getting packed up here ready to conduct an unannounced compliance inspection uh, with a large operator here in Northern Ireland. So we said the last time Adam was going to do the social media, that didn't work out well so we'll give it <laughs> to, me. we'll try John this time. <laughs> doing a yard checkpoint, one of our clients in Moira here in Northern Ireland. Yard checkpoint very vital guys, we go out, we inspect the vehicle for worthiness, we check the driver's um, legalities, load security, etc. Online report, electronic report sent straight away back to the operator and um, all is good. So now, we're here taking a <laughs> proper tea or coffee and then on to the next uh, victim for the day. Okay folks, so it is now just after 6 p.m. We were on the road this morning, just after 4 a.m. Conducting unannounced yard checkpoints, compliance inspections, all the way to another new customer regarding operator's license. 
It's just me and Adam <laughs> left in the office nice here at the moment. Nice of you to join me. What's that, Adam? Nice of you to join me. So yeah, we have Adam here, as we said before, on a HLA, higher level apprenticeship for um, business management, is it? Yeah, business management and services. Business management and services. So um, we may take on another couple of apprentices as the year goes on, depending. But that's it, guys. That's a uh, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15 hour a day, nothing usual or nothing um, unusual, should I say. And we're going to pack up now. Adam's going to go home. The rest of the guys from the office here are going home. And then I'm going to go home for a Zoom meeting at 8 o'clock with a new client in England or a possible new client. And then a Zoom meeting at half past 10 for a business motivation event through your ability. So we'll talk to you later. Okay guys, so we are back here in the office dealing with a couple of issues for operators. One in particular is where we have an operator who is tipping on a particular site and the guys need to be all certified and trained in uh, Moffat Mountain, which is the forklift attached to the back of the trailer. But the guys have been trained, however, they have to be risk specific is what they class it as. Trained and um, that includes the loading and unloading of trailer on their site. Now that must coincide with the health and safety policy that they have at the moment and that we're going to have to scramble about next week and do. So guys, that's one of, you know, some of our health and safety stuff uh, that coincide with the training and our compliance. Um, you know, this particular company could lose their contract over this. So as I say, we'll scramble this week, a couple of late nights, get them through the test and... Boom, boom, boom. Away we go. Oh, yeah folks, welcome back. We are out on site at the moment with Bill um, Quinn building supplies here in Derlin. We're just up their maintenance facility delivering fleet inspection techniques training. And this training is very practical. We do the classroom bit and then we spend a number of days then live vehicle inspection. We do the training and then we do the assessment. And to speed the things up, we usually will use one of their live vehicles, something that's already scheduled in to their safety inspection plan. A lot of companies we go into, you know, we get live defects in, then we categorize them accordingly, whether it's safety critical, whether it's a repair required, whether it must be monitored. And um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, very productive training course, guys. And people always ask me, why did I develop and design this? Well, I designed this first of all um, on behalf of a couple of engineering institutes a number of years ago. And what happened then was people wanted to pussify it. You know, they wanted to water it down and do classroom based only. Impossible to do classroom based only. Plus, it is not admissible in court because there's no relevant evidence of training apart from someone sitting in a classroom. And maybe even if you do a couple of exams with it, exams are just reiteration of documentation. That is it. So, they get somebody in the pit, they could be top class in the classroom, and then we put them into a pit, into a live environment, and they're not worth a damn, so it's just one of them things. So yeah, we're out here at the moment, old cement plant actually, so we have a, a designated vehicle inspection bay here, so anyway, we're making a bit of footage, you guys. We mightn't, we always ask permission, um, so we might get somebody there to ask, or else we just be that busy that the day goes in like a shot. So it's now half past seven in the morning, and we need to get at it. Okay, hey folks, it is now Sunday morning. We've had to skip on the week because we've had so much happening and we're heading out to do a photo shoot, believe it or not, on some of our vehicles here. So, that'll be interesting. Okay, folks, so we are at one of the locations now that we have been asked to go for, um, to set up for a photo shoot. Two magazines, a trade magazine, a business magazine as well. So, yeah, exciting times. But they have a response car coming behind us <laughs> to make sure that there's no vehicles coming and they want us to sit on top of the bridge here. Um, good idea, brilliant location, but time is money and we need to be getting out of here. However, from a business point of view, um, the publicity of it, uh, the social media content, all that sort of crack is all good. So we have one of our lorries here that needs to be out, um, shipping back into England Sunday night, Monday morning. So we need to get out of here.
Alrighty guys, so the vlog just is not only about business, mainly is, but also life itself. So I'm still in here in the office on a Sunday and this time I'm actually in logging on, or sorry, uploading BTEC results for my son Ben, who has only got his BTEC results this Friday. So it is now the 6th, he got them on the 4th of September. And we have to upload these now onto the College Universal um, portal to hopefully get him his placement. Now he has been given a conditional charge, or better not be that, a conditional offer. <laughs> and yeah, we have to load all up and see what way the university and, and colleges can get through this work. But there's going to be a massive backlog here, guys. Massive backlog for kids. And hopefully kids won't lose out because there might be a possibility that kids are going to lose out on placements this year. And I know the staff on the other side you know, from the college and university, they're going through the grades and seeing who's got what and then trying to get the, the classes up and going as quick as they can. But even for the likes of accommodation, um, you know, living arrangements, travel arrangements, all that sort of stuff, we have been given so little notice because you have to wait for the results to come in. And if he makes it into what he wants to do, which is performing arts, well then we're going to have to run around and get all them things put in place for him. So, yes, this is all comes on top of everything else, um, but... Hey ho, what do you do? The end of another vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a little comment, and follow us on our social media here on YouTube, tcdsb.com. So that's the end of the vlog, guys, and um, we'll chat to you later.